On the lateral side of the wrist, we have the radial styloid process. A small pointed projection from the radius and on the posterior medial aspect, we have the ulnar styloid process, which comes from the prominent head of the ulna. If we start on the lateral side of the hand and we ask the patient to abduct the thumb, we can find the anatomical snuff box formed by the tendons of extensor pollicis longus and brevis. The scaphoid bone lies within the anatomical snuff box and can be grasped and mobilized between the snuff box and the anterior aspect of the wrist. Just distal to the scaphoid is the triquetrum, which is at the base of the thumb. Moving medially from the scaphoid, we can find the lunate, and just distal to the lunate is the capitate, which can be found by asking the patient to flex their wrist and following the third metacarpal bone proximally, with the capitate located within the dip on the dorsum of the hand. The trapezoid lies between the trapezium and the capitate. The hook of hamate can be found within the hypothena region of the hand, approximately the distance of the distal phalanx of the thumb from the wrist crease. If we move just distal to the ulnar styloid and place the wrist in radial deviation, we can identify the triquetrum bone on the dorsum of the wrist, and then the pisiform is the prominent bone at the wrist crease on the medial side of the hand on the palmar surface. <laughs>